The hype for Zion Williamson's rookie NBA season is not slowing down anytime soon. ESPN released their NBA player rankings heading into the season, and the number one pick already comes in at number 42 before playing a single game. Another notable coming in behind Zion, Clay Thompson, who is ranked at number 49. Max Kell. Yes. Zion. Ranked too high or too low? Yeah, he's ranked too high. I mean, he'll deserve that ranking soon enough. But to call someone the 42nd best player in the league is to say there are 30 teams in the league. So just, do, do, just like, figure it out logically. What you're really saying is he is the second best player on average, like on more than half the teams mm -hmm. in the NBA. No, not yet. I don't think you'd say that. His Upside for sure, but as a rookie, he's going to have a lot to learn. And to put, it, put him ahead of Clay Thompson, clearly that's because of Clay Thompson's injury, right? Yes, Is he ahead of DeMar DeRozan? He going to be better as a rookie than DeMar DeRozan? I've been critical of DeMar DeRozan as the best player on a championship team. In other words, he's not good enough to be the best player on a championship team. Probably good enough to be the second best player on a championship team. Is Zion Williamson from his first game going to be that good? Even LeBron James, who hit the ground running as a rookie. LeBron James, was he one of the 42 best players his first game? Mm -hmm. And I don't, as much as we think of Zion, it would be a stretch to say he's going to be as great as LeBron James. Mm -hmm. If he ever does it, good for him. Rooting for him, that'd be awesome. I hope he's the greatest player of all time. It'll be fun to watch. But to call him already the second best player on more than half the teams in the NBA before he's played a game is a bit much. Well, I disagree with you. And here's why I disagree with you. Because I'm using, and, and, and in fairness to you, let me tell you how I look at the question. I look at the question as being, when the 2019-2020 regular season comes to an end, this is what will be the situation. We're forecasting what we'll be saying at the end of the season. Of course, Zion Williamson at this moment, before ever playing an NBA game, shouldn't be considered better you know, than, than most of the league. This second, I get that. But by the end of his rookie year, what are you projecting? And I think 42 is, is fine because I think that when you look at him, the, 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 the option that he's going to be in Alvin Gentry's offense, his ability because of his girth, his mass, his strength, speed, and athleticism to finish at the basket, what he can do in the open court – I think that there's going to be some growing pains when he's got to play with his back to the basket in a half-court set, et cetera. I get that. But remember, he makes noise in the open court. No That's doubt. where he makes his noise. And I don't give a damn what they talk about basketball skills. You don't teach 280. You okay? And you know who knows that? The opponents of the person coming at them who's 280. Because no matter what skill you think you have over him, if you are 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds lighter than this locomotive coming at you, chances are you're going to look at your own mortality and say, I might need to move out the way for this mortality particular place. Mortality right, is the right I, word, too. I, I, I might need to move out the way for this particular place. So I think that on plays like that alone, we're talking about the potential for him to give you 12 to 15 points a night just on that. And I look at it from that perspective and looking at the fact that most teams don't have that kind of component. And when we're talking about the 42nd best player, if you take the 30 teams into consideration, are you the second best player on half the teams in the league by the end of this season? I can see that. Maybe even that's a stretch for me, though, like – you, I think of Shaq, okay? When, when you look at Zion Williamson, you think of a comp, maybe like a guy like Blake Griffin, but he's even kind of heavy, you know, bigger, stronger. I look at the physical phenoms that we've seen come out, and the last one that was like, this is just something different, was Shaq. Remember what Yao Ming said about him? It was like playing a meat wall is mm -hmm. what he said, right? right. But Shaq was 7-1. Shaq mm -hmm. was a rim defender. So as a rookie, he came into the league. I made an all-star game right. as, his, as a rookie. Uh, I remember the Western Conference mm -hmm. like, this dude's not going to beat us. They put five dudes on him. He still scored. Mm -hmm. Zion's not quite Shaq. He doesn't have the height. So if it's someone like Shaq, we think he's a top 30 player even as a rookie, sure. Mm -hmm. But this is not quite that. He's going to have to show some wiggle in his game. He's going to have to shoot. He's going to have to defend. Mm -hmm. Of course, on physicality alone, he's a top 90 player, right? right. But top 42 mm -hmm. before he's played a game or even by the end of the year? You know how we got boys and they think they know more than us because that's just who they are. I got one of my boys, Champ, 
Uh, he's from Detroit and stuff like that. He's a good brother. Um, definitely knows his basketball for the most part. He's been texting me. I'm telling you right now on national television, I'm about to block you from my phone. He's not allowed to talk to me about basketball because he thinks he knows every damn thing. You know, he, he actually called into my radio show and said that LeBron James was not a top 10 player. LeBron James was not a top 10 player. What was his according, reasoning according, for that? You know, I didn't listen. I hung up on him. Oh. And I'm, I'm getting ready to block him today. You text me one more time, I'm blocking you. I'm just By saying. the way, um, okay. I just saw those Zion Williamson right. Right. highlights. Right. Never mind. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> never, <laughs> never mind. Right. You can't put your eyes on this guy yeah. and not have your jaw hit the floor. There you go. There We're you go. watching a lot of Duke Oof. players this upcoming season. Oh, by the season, way, uh, sure. by the way, he's willing to say that Zion's not going to be that good either. That's it. But but he said, but I don't mind that. But I don't think that's not a team. When he sit up there and says that LeBron James is not a top ten player, I banned him from talking basketball on my show for a month. Listen, maybe we should start taking in callers with their hot takes. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.